In this video, I'm going to be talking about the super visa. This is a continuation of my first video. In this one, I am going to be sharing my screen and we will run through the application from start to finish. If this is something that interests you, please stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. If this is your first time here, please use the subscribe button below and also click on the notification bell. So when I post a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you are a returning person, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the super visa. If you haven't watched part one, I'm going to link it up here and you can watch that video before you watch this one. So I'm going to be sharing my screen and we will run through the application together. Okay, let's go to the screen share. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to try to run through this as quickly as possible um, just to keep the video short. So please feel free to slow down the pace of the video at your end because I'll be talking a little fast. All right, so... I have this link to the IRCC portal in my description box. This is 2024. You need to make sure that you're using the proper link. Okay, so when you click on it, this is what shows. If you haven't registered before, this is where you need to click. In my case, I have registered uh, and I already have an account on the IRCC portal. So I'm just going to click sign in. Again, if you are applying on behalf of your parents, um, like I said in my previous video, if you are applying on behalf of your parents, it means you're a representative. What that means is that you'll be signing in, signing in with your own account details. Otherwise, if you are applying as though this is your dad applying for it, then you need to put your, or your dad or your mom, whoever, you need to put their own details and sign in with their own account. I prefer the first one because, you know, all the, communication and everything i could track everything from my side but if you use your dad's details or your or your mom's details it means that you know you have to be bothering them with you know checking the portal things like that like it's not i don't know i don't know for me it, it's not very efficient so just do it as though you are their representative and you should be fine so when you click on this and you've signed in this is the first page that comes out terms and conditions of course you need to accept this so just go ahead and accept it shows you all of this and then you just need to go down here to apply to visit study and work in canada click on that um it's read all this but really this is the most important thing click on that and then start application do you want to apply for more than one person if you're applying for both parents the answer is yes otherwise click no let's assume we're applying for both parents you click on yes and then on the drop down here just click on family because that's what it is create any name it doesn't really matter i'm just going to say the do's as you know last name is do and then save and continue okay and it brings up a group here when you are done with one person's application you'll be able to add another member to this or you can just add it now it doesn't really matter so let's start with the first person assuming in this case i am applying for my dad okay my dad is the applicant like i said i am the representative i'm using my own account then you click on continue so let us start the application so to make this video as efficient as possible i have already filled this out at my end so we're just going to be running through it very quickly the answer to this is visitor visa that's what you're applying for why do you need a visa this is the answer you know just go with that and then tell us more about what you do in canada you can just say i'm visiting to spend quality time with my daughter now when will you enter canada these are the dates you need to, what is key on this page is that you need to make sure that any dates that you feel here need to be longer needs to be longer than six months between your entry date and the exit date because the whole idea of a super visa is that you are visiting canada and staying for longer than six months otherwise you wouldn't be doing all this in the first place so save and continue it will tell you all the documents you need you can read that continue to application now who this is the representative's details right which is me are you applying on behalf of someone else the answer is yes um who is the person to you family member and then i'm going to put my details here just is asking for my own personal details my address my phone number and that's all that is here email address and then i click on save and continue 
now this is my father's um, travel document information what is his name what's the date of birth um, what is his um, gender save and continue what type of document is he traveling with is a passport in this case regular um, just that's the standard passport okay Nigeria is where his passport um, is from and that's his nationality so you fill out all the details of your parents here the travel document and then this questions you should have the answers you know depending on your situation click save and continue um this is just about where your dad was born and you know what citizens what country is he a citizen of or if they are more than one country you, you can put that in there so this is what i have for my dad and then save and continue do you have a valid national identity document? I answered no, but some countries they have um, maybe like in Nigeria, we actually have the national identity number. It's like a document. So you can put that in here. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. But if you put it in here, it means that you need to be ready to upload it when it comes to the end of this application. So save and continue. Um, have you used another name in the past? Of course, for my dad, the answer will be no. But if it's your mom, maybe she used her maiden name. So you would click yes and then you will need to fill out the details. So I'm just going to click no so we can move forward. Um, and then what is your dad's address um, in the country they are residing? So just put all of that in here. In the last five years, where have they resided? What is key here is that make sure there are no gaps. If they have many places they have resided in or many places they are citizens of or whatever, just make sure there are no gaps in the space. If one ends October, you know, today, make sure it's the, the next one is November. You know what I mean? So you are just clicking on edit here. You fill the details and then you save and continue. Here, this is for biometrics. If they already have biometrics, the answer will be yes. In my case, no biometrics, so just click no and move forward. Now, who is inviting you? These are my own details, okay? So I'm just gonna fill my details here. I'm a family member, and then it's asking for my personal details, address, phone number, just like the first page. Save and continue. This part, I have already explained before in my previous video, so do well to check. I am putting 40,000 here because this is what I feel like will be sufficient based on the like uh, LICO requirements that the government has provided. Refer to the first video for more clarification, but this is what you need. And then is someone else giving you money? The answer is yes, because it's assumed that I'm taking care of my dad. Please provide details. I said my daughter is a YouTube star who resides in Halifax and she'll be providing financial support for my stay in Canada. You can just copy this. Don't copy YouTube star. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but you know just tweak it as, as needed okay post-secondary education history for your dad and work history this part is very critical and this is the part that gives people a lot of problems what gives them problems is the continuity just make sure that there are no gaps I think once you can nail that part you'll be able to move forward from this page otherwise you'll be stuck here okay if they've retired when did they retire were they working before make sure that everything so if they retired you know 2022 or oh, i did doing before 2022 like just make sure there are no gaps once you can nail that you will be fine okay and then just move forward during the past five years have they traveled to any country the answer is no if it's yes you need to fill out the details in my case it's no so i'm just gonna move forward okay travel history um these are straightforward questions so just answer them Criminal and security, these are straightforward questions. Have you used drugs? Have you committed an offense? If most times the answer should be no here. I <laughs> hopefully that, that should be your own answer as well. And then you move forward. Same thing, continuation of um, of of criminality questions. So now it says that have you done a medical exam? If your dad has done a medical exam in the last 12 months, then the answer will be yes. Okay. Mine hasn't. Um, you need to put details of who examined you all of that mine hasn't so i'm just going to put no and move forward okay here is asking medical some medical questions especially around tuberculosis um so just fill out what is what is what is um fill out the truth right that they had tuberculosis those kind of things and then you move forward um still all the medical questions are they receiving dialysis these are straightforward questions so you should be able to answer this um here what is your dad's marital status is he married if he's married just put it in here if he's married 
you need to make sure that you have the dates because obviously you will need to have the marriage certificate because you will need to have upload it at the end of this video. Um, sorry, at the end of this application, I mean. So you put the details of, um, you know, the amount of your dad's marriage, who is your dad's common law partner or spouse, that should be your mom, I will, or, or as the case may be, or another person, just put their details here. What is the person's occupation? These questions are really straightforward. Will your spouse or common law partner be accompanying you to Canada? If your mom or whoever is your dad's wife is going to accompany them, you need to put yes, okay? Otherwise, put no. Save and continue. So, does your dad have any biological children? Obviously, you are a child of your dad, so you need to put all the details of your dad's uh, kids here. In this case, I'm assuming that I'm the only child, but if there are more children, you need to add to it, okay? Save and continue. So, I'm just going to record on top of the original video um, because I made a, a slight error here. What this page actually refers to is you filling out the details of your parents parents so your, your in this case now my dad's um, mom and dad is what i should feel here so of course you click on add and then you put their details here both of them there's a space to provide um information if they're if they're deceased or if they're still alive those kind of things so that is what this page um is referring to uh, so i'm just gonna <laughs> put this here Okay, let's continue. Okay, so what language does your dad speak? In my case, I just put English. There are so many languages here, so just select. This is straightforward. Can he communicate in both English and French? Just say English. If if it's both, whatever relates to your situation, put that in there. Then what language should he contact you with? English. And save and continue. Then what is your dad's email address? You put that in here. Confirm the email address as well. Save and continue. What is your dad's phone number? Put that in there. Remember, this is the edit button. That's what you need really to, or add button. That's what you need to navigate this page. Here, you have to review, you have the opportunity to review all the answers that you have provided, okay? So if you just go one by one and make sure that everything is up to date. So just click on this edit button. It will take you back there to this particular page. Or you can just look at it from here, straightforward. Just click on any of these drop down menus um not drop down these arrow buttons and it will show you what you filled out so you just need you can go edit from here as well but if you now see that there is a, an error then you can use this button to go into the the application so this is what you need to do then let's assume that everything is correct and we are fine we click on save and continue now this is where the documents right so you need to upload certain documents like i said in my first video just click on here i have already uploaded the documents you know just to make sure that this video is faster however for you to know what you are uploading and why it will give you more details just click on that arrow button letter of invitation i already gave you a template i will link it again in this video proof of income here you would see what exactly you need right so it says copy of your notice of assessment or your t4s in my case i just um put an original letter from my from my employer saying you know i work there my job description this is the one i did i didn't do any of these other ones but in some situations i've heard that you know you should just put this notice of assessment because there was someone who they denied and they said he didn't put notice of assessment but he's like i put this already i don't know why you're asking me for this again that might have been a one-off but if you want to, you can put both documents, okay? So that's what you need for proof of income. You need to upload your, your father's passport here. Now, coming down to proof of funds, what do you need? It will tell you the documents that are acceptable. In my case, I just used, um, you know, a four months bank statement, okay? Um, so this is what I used, this first one. For, oh, sorry, bank statements for the last four months. This is the one I, I did, and that's what I uploaded um, in my in my own situation so that one should be straightforward then this use of representative form we already talked about it and i gave you a template i will link it again in this video um so just upload that is really straightforward to fill on that relationship proof you need to put your birth certificate that shows that your dad is actually your dad okay if you don't have this i'm, I'm guessing you know so it says an official document so maybe like a, a sworn affidavit or you know from your notary or something official right 
that's what you put here you need to put your parents medic um, marriage certificate as well in here if you know if they don't have it then I guess the same would apply which is maybe something from your notary or just some official document then the medical insurance proof we already talked about this in my first video as well this is where you upload that confirmation of um, insurance document that you get from your insurance company please refer to the first video you will get all the information that you need on this and then you click on save and continue and then you go to this page um, do you want to be contacted by IRCC the answer should be yes you put your dad's name and um, you, your dad's first and, and last name oh sorry that's not mine <laughs> so this is my dad and then privacy notice then to click on if you click on save and continue okay so you are done with application one for your dad now you need to go do the same thing for your mom you will just add a member here why she's already showing here is because i already filled it out okay you just click on add a member and then you start filling out um all the the documents um the same thing that you did for your dad just do the exact same thing for your mom so let's assume we have finished um filling this oh i'm just gonna delete this i don't need that so these are your parents mom and dad and then you just confirm that i have completed the applications for this group and then save and continue and then it will ask you okay who do you want to be the principal applicant you can put your dad your mom it really doesn't matter so just select the person click on save and continue and then you are now ready to pay okay save and continue as well it will take you to a payment page these are the fees for now okay um so these are the fees it's, it has calculated the biometric fees and um the the visa fee so anyway this is the total and then you just save and continue of course it will take you to the payment page and that is where you need to fill out um you know your card details and pay for the application so that is really it about the application please follow the video step by step use my templates don't worry you'll be fine people have used it they've gotten the applications approved so i don't think that you would have any problems of your own all right guys if you like this video please hit the like button and um, subscribe to my channel and also share this video with anyone that you think it will benefit Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to hit that like button. Also click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and share this video with anyone who you think will need it. You know how we roll. I will see you on the next one. Bye.